Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I hope you had a lovely holiday. Let's jump right back into our crafting, and I'll show you a little bit of decoupage, but I'm going to show you how we can keep these cards out of the landfill and some wrapping paper, and I'll show you how to make these easy houses. Uh, there's a little one that I made for you, another one with a little different a uh, little bit of a different idea and then I also of course had to use decoupage on one of them and a little bit of snow with glitter and here's how my little Christmas village looked and I'll also give you a couple of other ideas that you may not have thought about or you may not know about so pretty quickly let me just mention that if you have a paper shredder you can do a whole lot with these cards and I love the idea that I was able to use these and here's what I did with them this is just a short quick easy thing you can do this is the wrapping paper roll so I reused everything you can use empty toilet paper rolls or you can use paper towel rolls and I just stuffed it with this paper which was a lot easier than I thought it would be and obviously the paper towel rolls and the toilet paper rolls will be a lot easier and quicker to stuff but I really wanted to reuse as much Christmas trash as I could by the way, if there was any glitter on any of the cards, I didn't use those glitter on the wrapping paper. I didn't use it because these are going to be made as gifts for fire starters and we don't want plastic or some unknown material going into the fireplace. And these instructions are the same no matter what size you're working on. I took some leftover wrapping paper and rolled it up and crunched it at the ends like that kind of resembles a candy wrapper and you can put some twine on the outside of this as long as it's flammable one thing I forgot to film is you drip beeswax on it so that it then becomes perfect to start fires so you can keep a basket of them near your fireplace or you can give them as little gifts to people who have fireplaces. They really do look adorable and work really well. And for the next idea, I went to Better Homes and Gardens because they had a link to this template. And it's rather tiny, but that's okay because it makes a nice little tiny house. And you may want to make a bunch of little tiny houses. I'll put the link below so that you can go right to the site and get this same template for yourself but what I did was I I cut out one section of the card that I wanted to use because I have a very heavy hand I took a ballpoint pen and I cut this out it made it a little bit easier to work with and I placed the template over the piece of card that I wanted to cut out and I put a piece of tape here and then I went very heavily over these lines I found that I needed something to keep my marking straight because I was moving a little out of alignment here and by the way it is much easier when you use tracing paper so on the larger house that I did I did use tracing paper and I'll show you that and you do want to make sure that you follow this pattern. The solid lines are where you're going to cut your cards out. Where you draw the dotted lines is where you're just going to fold it. And then, of course, there's a piece for the roof down below, too. Once I was all done, I began cutting everything out. So here's what the card now looks like. And then you fold it on the dotted lines. When you're working with cards, I found it a lot easier to use a butter knife. A bone folder is what you're supposed to use. I don't have one. So I folded everything where it was supposed to be, and then you simply fold it up and you glue the back part, this tiny little flap you have on the inside, and you've got a little house. By the way, you know how these cards have a shiny gloss on them? It turns out that they are very good conductors for heat. So when I was using the hot glue gun, ouch that really hurt so I don't recommend hot glue if you've got a good paper glue or something that holds quickly that might be the better way to go or you can clip this shut with any paper glue you know just use a little paper clip now I cut the roof out and I glued the roof on till I finally had a little house that looked like this the one on the far left and I'll show you how I made the other two 
So for the taller house, I did want to use scrap paper this time, and I wanted to make the house a little bit bigger. So what I did is I basically followed the same exact pattern. By the way, you do want to tape everything down so that nothing moves while you're tracing it. So all I did was I followed that same pattern along the top because that's the important thing. I just enlarged everything so that I now had a taller house, followed all of those same exact instructions. Because I want to decoupage this, I took some leftover wrapping paper and I put the template that I just cut out over the wrapping paper. You really should tape this, but I kind of rushed it. And I just outlined exactly what paper size I needed. I cut it out and then I decoupaged it over my surface. Oh, guys, I have to switch over to captions and subtitles. Somebody just came over and the dogs are going a little crazy. Um, I'm going to continue the video, but I'm going to add subtitles from here on out so I can finish this today, okay? Okay.